there's a difference between people and some people feel that they control their own destiny and other people feel like, man, they, they have no choices. Everything's controlled by external forces. I'm the opposite. I feel in my heart that I, if I want something bad enough, I can make it happen. When I decide I'm all in on something, I am all in. July 18th, I rolled out of bed and checked my trail camera. I was uh, blown away. The biggest typical buck ever shot in my county was a 170 inch buck. This buck is of that caliber. I get to hunt some of the biggest big buck states in the country, Illinois, Wisconsin, Kentucky. I've never had a bigger buck in front of me. This was the biggest buck I've ever had in front of me from right here in Pennsylvania. It's a story about, you know, a, a deer and a hunter, but it's way more than that. It's not so much a hunting story as it is a story about human nature and the things that we're capable of doing when we put our mind to it. I just remember being nine months pregnant and he came home from work and said he was going to be quitting his job and hunting for a living. People see the success you, you have, the, what's sticking above the water, but that part that's below the water is what people didn't see. They didn't see the repo man coming together. They didn't see us sitting at the table talking about whether we needed to declare bankruptcy. They didn't see my wife crying. There's gonna be things that we go through that are not gonna be enjoyable. But you're gonna have to go through those to get to the good stuff. I'm like, I got him at 35 yards there. He's quartering away. And it's like, no, just let him come down. He's going to be 30 yards right there in front of you. And sure enough, he comes down, and I'm bumping the camera with my arm and getting him in it. And he gets there. I'm like, when he gets there, I'm going to shoot. And I let it rip. 